Coach, your second Big 12 media day, is it any different than the first one? Um, no. You know, the one thing I love about it is there's never a lack of paying attention to detail when you come here. Everything is always spectacular. Uh, I mean, just the lighting on all the trophies and the belts and all of that kind of stuff is just something you hadn't experienced in any other media day that you've been a part of. At least I haven't. Here's a curveball for you. Brian Thornton yeah. is now here in the Big 12. I just talked to him and uh, told him how you always said nice things to say about him. Just what are your thoughts about Brian Thornton coming to the Big 12? Exactly. Brian's a great, man, great addition to the Big 12. And, you know, when he was leaving the American, we all, we all had a fit, you know, because right after COVID or right during COVID or whatever it was. And he was like, Brian, we're just getting everything organized to get out of it. He's like, it's just an opportunity I can't turn down. And we understand that. And um, watching him in the WAC, I think it was the WAC, right? Um, watching the teams do well because again they got to like the top 15 in the country one time one year and um, knowing that he was over the spear here and that that was really really cool but to have him back um, with us again and of course Samson will be delighted as well because again he was one of the ones spearheading a lot of things for us to be able to make some changes in America and it was really nice to see him be a part of what we're doing now. You're dealing with injuries right now so just where is the team heading into the season? Yeah, we are uh, hopeful. You know, Malia Johnson, you know, ACL. Um, Katera Poole went down, so we're waiting to see what happened with her, you know. Um, uh, Layla looks sick. Um, everybody else is, you know, nursing something here and there, and, you know, we just got to go. We got to strap them up and be able to get healthy and be able to go. You know, the one thing about it is every single day somebody has an injury. I just saw something on um, Twitter about Tennessee kid, Tori Achilles, you know, New Mexico kid, shoulder, done for the year. Uh, so it, it's happening. And, you know, the injury bug is, it's, uh, it doesn't care who, it just comes to get you. And so you have to be strong and mentally tough to be able to battle through and be able to make the adjustment. And always open up a door for somebody else to be able to step up and do some things. Uh, we had a really good scrimmage um, against Stephen L. Foster. Um, so we saw some really good things out of that. Kiara, um, that we were hoping make some steps this year. She did some pretty good things. And, you know, but uh, a lot with a lot of other people, GG did some good things. And, you know, those kind of kids that we need to be able to step up and play some, some key minutes. And they were real productive. Um, we also had some surprises as well, but really excited about uh, where we're going as soon as we get through this injury bug. Has, how much has Kiara grown from freshman now to going into second year? I, I think the maturity part has really put her over the top. Now everything is not funny, you know. <laughs> you know, everything is not cool. You know, she understands that part of it. She understands watching films. She understands, understands being on time to study hall. She understands all the little things. You know, all before it was funny, it was cool, and all that kind of stuff. And so it's naturally progressed into her basketball game. So now she's in the gym three or four times a week now. She understands I need to come in early and be able to get that and manage my day now and those kind of things. So that's where she's really grown at and it's starting to show on the basketball court and the practices. Um, you still have to coach her up. You know, we don't have to do that every single day. But she's helping you without all the sideline distraction things. So she's really grown in that area. What are your thoughts on the four newcomers to the Big 12? Oh, going to be tr tremendous. You know, it's a smuggler's board. You know, when you talk about Utah and Lynn, you know, I led the country in assists last year. You know, so they're not putting the ball down on the floor a lot. You know, another thing, they got shooting in Arizona. Who's going to play a lot like us? And in your face, going to get it. A deal, personality like mine's a little bit. Going to be, you know, we want to get out and destroy you and stuff like that. Um, Arizona State coming back from all the injuries they had last year, getting all the pieces to be able to do what they need to do. And um, Colorado, we're just waiting to see because again, they're terrible you know, with their matchup, you know, trying to figure out what they're doing in their matchup zone all the time and those kind of things. So again, at the end of the day, you know that there are uh, four great programs that are coming to be able to have the same goal as everybody else to try to win a Big 12 championship. Thank you, sir.